Guys, this video is going to be about um, how I think a lot of drinking culture today, I think it's always been the case, but um, in the UK has really rep replaced the kind of masculine competition where men thrive. So if you think about drinking today, uh, like if you're at one of these unis where you're in a sports team or something, um, and you um, you have a um, like lots of drinking games and stuff. Um, one thing you might find quite remarkable is that a lot of what's happening is these drinking games are really replacing. Um, it's all, it's very competitive in a way that appeals very much to a male audience you know people drink it's like how much can you drink in one given space of time everything is like a game as to how much you can drink basically um so in a way a lot of drinking game this is partly why drinking is so uh seen as like a good thing seen as for, like good for camaraderie and, you know, camaraderie and stuff that's because it has that element of it about it like people there's competitive elements to um to drinking which is a positive thing because we need yeah, we need that uh specialist guys but what's, what i find so funny is generally where you get competitions where people are, people are competing in some sense they're competing over something healthy so it could be how much can you bench you know people get sort of in beefy arguments about that or you know how far can you run how well you know sports teams playing competitions you know all this kind of stuff um, now and even with stuff like computer gaming you know which maybe is an unhealthy habit to have but there's still an element of like how skillfully can you play a video game so um you know, there's, there's some positive in where all your hard work goes. Um, but with drinking, it's completely different because, like, it's just hor it's horrendous for your body anyway. Like, and in a sense, you're, you're calling upon the same part of your body that gets you to do an extra rep at the gym uh, when you're down in that last shot of vodka. You know, you're calling on your body to the, the same part of your body that goes that extra mile where on a jog that's the same part of your body that's having that sort of extra shot so you can match like what your mates are doing um you know it's the same kind of camaraderie um but in the drinking sense like yeah, it just has horrendous disadvantages you know because with the competitive side of like weightlifting you get you know, it's healthy for your muscles you know with the running it's good for your cardio um meanwhile like the best you are in that con in this context because it's kind of been skewed the best you are in this context of, of drinking the worse you are in real life because you know your liver's fucks and um all that other stuff so yeah um i just think it's interesting um and i don't want to come across as too negative about drinking you know um because there is a balance to be had there, of course. Of course there is. Um, but I think something that's worth remembering is that kind of competition doesn't have to exist just in um, a drinking culture. You can get that from um, playing a sport or um, uh, you know, weightlifting, physical activity, uh, anything anything really uh, that you're doing with another group of guys I mean that's the other thing is that like a lot of the activities that, pe that guys do communally is just drinking um, you know so they don't see that kind of competition anywhere else um, so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one